<coughs> just to show you how to do it with a wire cutter, and again, these are relatively inexpensive and a lot of people have these at home. Whenever you have a wire sticking out or poking or something loose, just go to the closest point where it attaches to the next attached bracket, give it a little snip, and then make sure you remove the piece that you cut from the mouth, and then a little, it's just, we don't need a tongue on that one. <laughs> no, I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm looking at it. It's right. the wire, and I can't. Okay, let's do it. Okay, do we have any more? Oh, shh. Swallow it? You swallow it? It like shot. Yeah, it's like it was in my throat. I was trying okay, to look so for it and your tongue's coming. Say, say put your, try and get your finger behind I'll it. I'll put my okay, hand, move your hand over there. Yeah. Okay, move it over some more. Yep. <laughs> okay, we won't use that. Okay, okay we're not going to use that. It's okay. It's okay. I can't tongue that. Okay, now I'll start. Move it over a little bit more. Just keep moving it all the way over, all the way over. So where it's really yeah, perfect, right like that. Carl's tongue okay, surprised me. Okay, another thing, uh, let's see. This is an example of using the wire cutter. So if you have a wire poking out, just simply take the wire snipper, go right close as you can to the next bracket where it's attached. Try and keep your finger behind it so that it, you can catch it. And then just remove the loose piece and a little wax over that area and good as new.